True Classic went from a startup in 2019 to over $250 million in sales in just five years. And that's because they have a genius strategy when it comes to converting strangers into paying customers. So how have they managed to build a $250 million company selling t-shirts on the internet? Now you might think it's their soft fabric and tight fit, but it's actually something much different. It all comes down to their three-part funnel that turns total strangers into paying customers. And that's exactly what we're going to look at today to try and uncover some of these $250 million secrets. Let's dive in. First, I want to give you a 30,000 foot overview of this three-part funnel. And we're going to dive into first the beginning, the top of the funnel here, and look at the ads they're running and how they're getting traffic into this funnel. Because this is the first step that led to this massive success. One of the first things I want to say before diving into this ad is they've tested so many different ads. I've seen so many ads from them over the years with slight variations till they find the one that pops off and they run it like crazy. So they have many ads that have generated millions of views, but this is one of the more popular ones, but they all have a few similarities, which we'll dive into in a second. I'm so fat. Brendan, you're not fat, it's the shirt. Look at Nate. Okay, so right there, we are five seconds in, so on a YouTube ad, which this was ran as, as a YouTube ad, five seconds is obviously where you can skip. So what happened before the five seconds? We have a hook, that's i'm so fat and these guys saying you're not fat it's the shirt okay so immediately they're they're speaking to kind of the pain point of somebody who might be watching this feeling like they don't look good in their current shirt right and the second part that's genius here is the way they're offering to solve that pain point is a way that's attractive right because everybody knows they could go to the gym and they could eat apples for two years and lose weight but no one really wants to do that right so by saying you could just get a new shirt and immediately look better, it's an extremely simple solution to a painful problem, okay? The second thing I want you to notice is right before five seconds, look what happens. Look at Nate. Boom. So we have a slap to the face and then we have a beep, right? This is a pattern interrupt. This is gonna keep you watching. You're about to skip and you're like, wait, what just happened? And you wanna keep watching and see what this guy does that just got slapped. Let's keep watching. Look at Nate. His true classic is tight around the chest and shoulders and arms, and then it tapers off towards the bottom. Nate also has six pack abs. So now they're answering the objection, right? Like, look at that guy. Of course he looks good in a true classic t-shirt. He looks good in anything. Point is, the shirt doesn't highlight your best attributes. What are my best attributes? And this is another thing they do exceptionally well, which is they bring comedy into their ads, which I think adds some kind of credibility, some rapport, some trust to it, and also just makes it more fun and engaging because no one wants to watch an ad. So if you can add something that makes them want to watch it, obviously the metrics are going to be better. You're a really good dad. Yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> And once again, more comedy, you're really good at it, and then the stroller, of course, goes off into the distance. Now, there used to be a longer version of this one where they actually gave him, I think, a new t-shirt, and he looked a lot better. This one, though, has 4.9 million views, and that's not the one that uh, seems like it worked the best, so that must have not worked as well. They're running all these ads, that ad, and, and many more ads like it, again, with comedy, uh, with pushing the pain points of not looking good in the t-shirt, showing the easy solution of just getting a better t-shirt, uh, a lot of ads on Facebook and so forth. But right now they're sending the top of the funnel traffic to this page right here, which I think is really, really interesting. So this page is not on their website. We're gonna look at this first on mobile, but this page is not a page you can just go find on their website. It's an extra page, a landing page they're using specifically for the top of the funnel, okay? So if you look at this immediately up here, there is no navigation. Why? Well, they want to direct people to one action. So they are making it to where that's the only thing you can do. So it starts off with five reasons why three plus million men swear by this shirt. Okay, what are they doing? One, they're hooking you in. Five reasons. What are the five reasons? Three plus million men. So now they are adding in some social proof of three million men. You're like, wow, this is not just some, you know, drop shipper from China selling this stuff. It's like this is a legit company, swear by this t-shirt. Okay, so that's a very like intriguing statement with a lot of social proof in it. Next up, they have this brag bar right here with New York Post, Entrepreneur, Forbes, Inc., right? What is it doing? It's adding social proof. It's hitting on some credible sources. So you think you can trust the site. Then they have a picture of a guy looking good in the t-shirt and it says the most comfortable shirt you'll ever wear. So what are they doing? They're hitting on benefit number one. They're not going over features like you get this bamboo soft fabric. 
it's the most comfortable shirt you'll ever wear, right? Big, bold promise right off the bat. And then they're again, hitting on those same points. And then they kind of go over how free movement in the shoulders, stretchy and breathable, stylish classic fit for all sizes. Number two, extreme confidence. Again, they're hitting on the exact thing that somebody is going to want that is landing on this page. And it says 87% of guys agree they look more fit in a true classic tee. Again, what are they doing? Social proof, social proof, social proof, social proof, as well as kind of adding in a statistic to that social proof to make it even more believable. The best deal on the internet is number three. Number four is lasting quality. Number five, love it or will replace it. That is a risk reversal. They're taking all of the risk off of your plate because you just found them on an ad. So the burden of proof is really on them, right? And they're taking that to heart. They're saying, hey, if you don't like it, we'll just give you a refund, risk-free guarantee. Then they go over some actual products. It says sold every five seconds for a reason. What is that? More social proof. And there's these best sellers. And then once again, 100,000 five-star reviews, more guys looking good in the shirt. It says, ready to feel the difference. Upgrade me. The button goes to this collections page. So now let's go to desktop view and dive into this. And I want to see what are they doing on the site and can it get me to get rid of this shirt and buy a true classic shirt in the next few minutes here. So men's crew neck t-shirts. It's not just a shirt. Our premium tees are designed for guys' bodies. They accentuate the arms and shoulders to make you stand out and feel great. Again, big, bold promise to get you what you want. And then they showcase other brands versus true classic, okay? This is really, really good design. I like the fact that you can easily sort rather than going up to the navigation, I can easily sort here and look at polos and again, showing other brands and true classic. That's the ad, that's really the, the angle they've seen work really well, apparently, because that's everywhere, right? It's just a visual representation of why true classic is better. And again, back to the ad, that's what they did in the ad, right? That's what they do in all their ads is they're showing how much better people look with this t-shirt. Again, solving that big, bold promise. I want to go back really quick. I want to look at the homepage because I think there's a few things on there. So we have lowest price ever. So if people are coming here, they've probably already heard a true classic, uh, which is why they're going to lead with lowest prices ever, right? Because they're just trying to convert somebody that maybe hasn't converted yet. And again, same thing, but they allow you to actually filter here by medium, large and extra large. So you can kind of see somebody maybe that looks like you experience the difference, shop the sale, shop by category, again, more social proof, and they're hitting on these same exact points. So let's say we want to go build a pack. It's going to ask me what pack size I want. And it starts immediately with a nine pack, which is, it says the most popular, right? They're trying to anchor that. It's not the most expensive. It's not the cheapest. It's the most popular kind of right there in the middle, right? Three pack for 13, six pack for 11. Let's do that. Okay, I can choose my size. This is a really cool experience. And I can go choose my size, choose my color, military green, black, white. Um, I don't really want white. Let's say we want to go Heather Navy. I don't know if I want to go Navy. Tan, four, nine, think of that. I feel like that's an interesting color. Light, Heather, gray, dark, oh. Let's do Chark. Ooh, what's carbon? And then it's trying to upgrade me to a nine pack, right? And it shows what is included. And I can click add to cart and then it's going to open up my cart. And I want you to see what it's doing here. They're trying to increase average order value right now. Their site is probably extremely well converting, right? Just in general sales. So the conversion rate is probably pretty good, but look at how they now not only take good conversion rate, but they're trying to add more to the average order value. And you can think about if this was just a normal t-shirt company, this would probably be, you know, an average order value of 30, maybe 40 bucks, right? But because they're doing this pack system and they're making it cheaper, a lot cheaper to buy more, you're incentivized to buy more. But then, right now they're saying, okay, you're only $29 away from free shipping. So they're kind of gamifying this process and like, wow, I'm only $29 away. I'm, I'm going to spend eight bucks in shipping. I might as well just get to hundred dollars in my cart. Right. And the first time I came to true classic and was shopping and I've never purchased from them, but all of a sudden my cart was like 300 bucks. Right. I was like, what in the world is going on here? Then on the next uh, step here, you get a free boxer brief and then an active long sleeve t-shirt. And this step is extremely sneaky right here. I love this. So it says unlock $13.99 in store credit. See how anchors you down here. And basically, if you sign up for $12 a year to their membership, you get 20% credit back. Okay, this is great because what are they doing? They're making not just one-time customers, but repeat customers. So 
you spend 12 bucks, I'm getting $14 back, right? Which is great. But now I'm going to come back and use that credit, right? And if I didn't, well, they just got a $12 membership that's probably going to recur again next year. Then below, they have these mystery tees, which is pretty cool that I can add one of those to my order if I want. And they're going to have this crew neck six pack already in there. Cool. So let's look at their actual product pages really quick to see what they're doing there. So they're showing again, just somebody looking good in the t-shirt, right? They're showing the end result, the dream outcome you want from buying this shirt. But the next thing they do is they actually add in these extra little things, right? Us versus them, three reasons you need this tea, how to style and what people are saying. So what are they doing here? They're adding in more benefits, right? And kind of hitting on the same benefits. Then we got this dude styling it, showing a bunch of different ways to style it, which then lastly, they have this social proof of this guy actually using the t-shirt. And they have some trust badges here, again, highlighting some of these different benefits, easy care, great value, so forth and so on. All the information you could want about the t-shirt. Again, the hype is real, re kind of hitting on the same points again, and again, and again, more social proof, trusted by two and a half million men worldwide. Bunch of customer reviews, 45,000, again, tons of social proof. Okay. Now, before we check out, I want to show you the second part of this funnel. Let's say right now I didn't come and purchase, right? I just found out about them. I don't know if I really want to purchase it. And I go to the cart, I go to check out, but I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I'm not too sure about it. Two things are going to happen. I'm now inside the retargeting audiences on Facebook and Google and YouTube and all of these places. But as well, if I started checkout, they have my email and they probably have my phone number as well. And this happened to me a few weeks ago when I was looking at these shirts and every single day, multiple times a day, they are following up, right? They are sending you, again, going back to their ads, creative text messages, creative emails to get you back in, right? I bet if I go to my email right now, there's an email there. In fact, let's go check. See right here, literally one hour ago, it says, uh, I noticed you noticing me. Love what you see, make it yours wants me to go back to look at this six pack, okay? And then it shows me a few other products. So they're just really, like they're not just taking the lead that they get or the traffic that they get on the front end, the first part of the funnel. They're ensuring they're like ruthless with following up on SMS, on email and other ad platforms. So let's say that you come here and you know, you, you see another ad, I already visited, but I haven't purchased yet. They're now showing different ads, right? Because the first ads, those were specifically about the value proposition. It's tight, it looks good, etc. Now, a lot of these ads that are in the middle of the funnel are showing, you know, a discount, right? President's Day sale, these sorts of things. And they're pushing people not back to the five reasons page because they already understand the five reasons page. Now they're pushing them to the collections page, the page we just went to, right? And then from there, they can go to any one of these product pages, right? There's tons and tons of products. Uh, once they add them to cart, it takes them to checkout and they can purchase, right? That's where we are now. Before we get to the third part of this funnel, let's go back to True Classic and let's see if we want to check out. So let's say we're at this point and we want to go check out. I'm going to, I'm going to remove this mystery T right here and go to secure checkout. And then it marks all of these down, right? So rather than saying just, you know, $11 or whatever, it's marking all of them down. I got six items, I believe, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, two black t-shirts and then this package protection, which is interesting that I can actually check off, but that adds $2 to every single order. But at their scale, of course, that is a huge amount of extra revenue just from $2 on every single order. So we're here now, let's go ahead and check out and see if there's anything special after we check out. Okay, so we just checked out, now let's see what happens. We got the order confirmation, okay. Oh, never mind. what are we doing? We're getting upsold, right? And this is something that is so simple that most people are missing, right? A lot of times, if you just add one click upsells after you get a purchase, you can add 10%, 15% of revenue, depending on obviously your offer and what you're offering on the upsell page. But we've seen 20 to 40% of people sometimes on our clients' funnels accepting upsells, which can bring in a huge boost in revenue. So in this case, you know, I know I can only get these for a limited time for the next four minutes but this is actually a worse deal than I just got. So if maybe if it was like $11, I would take it, but we're gonna decline that offer. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's an even better offer, $16 for this. Nope, sorry, True Classic. You're not getting more revenue from me. It says now spread the word, earn 15% store credit, which is gonna bring them more traffic back to the site 
and it says you earned a ten dollar welcome bonus so i can literally redeem this and go buy more stuff so what are they doing they're trying to maximize the lifetime value because again if we go back to the funnel think about all the money they're spending on ads they can now, if they, if they get me to spend, you know, not only 80, right? It came for a $20 t-shirt. I left spending $80 getting six t-shirts. So now if they get me to spend 80 or 100 or $120, they're able to spend more on ads on the front end and grow their business even faster, right? Which is how they've got to $250 million in sales so fast. Then the last step of this funnel is kind of what I already mentioned. They're sending people back to the funnel right now. I'm going to get remarketed to all the time. I'm going to be getting emails every single day. I'm going to wake up to text messages from True Classic. And they're going to be like, hey, bro, you only spent 80 bucks. What the heck? Our average order value is $150. Come back and buy some more t-shirts. So you can see here how every single step of this funnel, and we didn't even get into 10% of what they're doing so well. Every step of the funnel is optimized to the nth degree. But if you look out and you zoom back from the big picture, okay, I want you to notice something key here. What's the main thing that's going on? They're solving a problem that a lot of people have in the marketplace and they're making a big, bold promise to solve that problem. And they're solving it in a way that people want it solved, right? That's what we call making a good offer, right? That's why it all starts there because otherwise they'd be putting lipstick on a pig and they wouldn't be growing to $250 million in sales in just five years they'd be struggling to get sales, right? Because it's very hard to get somebody to purchase something they don't want to purchase. So by spending more time making a good product, right? And then just marketing it effectively, they're able to grow much, much faster. And then of course, the second thing here is they're doing so much. Now, I will say, of course, they're a $250 million company. So they're gonna have hundreds of products. They're gonna have tons and tons of channels you know, emails going out with the Bahuza every single day, you know, SMS messages hitting you up every five minutes. But you can see why this is working so, so well and why they're able to turn total strangers into paying customers. So this has been me breaking down True Classics sales funnel and their ads. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. I'll see you there.